appreciate you. What is the issue between you and Kelvin? Like, there's nothing there. Like, you know what? There's no, there's no issue there, honestly. There's no issue there. I think he's it, kind of... There's no dislike, there's no life. But. No, you know what? I don't really know him that well. And he's not really been ever been on my radar for me to like dislike him. Yeah. I just feel that like he's using my name just to get a bit of a name for himself. Yeah. I mean, now maybe people recognize him mm -hmm. when he walks the streets, whereas before no one did. <laughs> this is the honest truth, you know. Uh, long ago, he was... Uh, long ago, while I was fighting for world titles and I was uh, topping bills in like New York and Vegas and yeah. Mandalay Bay and places and top and at the MGM, he was doing club shows in, in pubs mm -hmm. in the UK. You know, just about selling them out. Okay. Um, so really, like, I laugh at the stuff. I mean, for him to make it in the newspapers and in the tabloids, he has to mention my name. Otherwise, the newspaper's not really interested in him. So that's the way I look at it. He uses me to get his name up there. And and if you look at whoever he's fought at the top level, he's got destroyed. Um, so, so really, he, um, yeah, I mean, he and, and what makes it worse for him is him talking trash. Um, if he if he really wanted to have the fight like me and Crawford, with respecting each other, and, and if there is any trash talking, I mean it's about the fight now. It's been signed. Whereas with with um, with Brooke, he does it early. So in a way, he knows I'm not gonna like that, so I'm not gonna make the fight happen. I mean, talk trash. I'm like, why shall I give you that payday? Why shall I fight you then? I mean. You know, um, so I just feel that he's talked himself out of the fight yeah. numerous times instead of having the fight and respect him and say, let's do the fight. A fight between you and Cook, I mean, uh, Brooke, would, would the possibility, can it be as big as maybe like, um, you know, Drew Banks and Nigel Benn type of wars? Yeah, for like sure. That, like, I think it can be. Yeah. But like after his last performance, it kind of, uh, kind of put a, like a shadow over that fight because it was, it, the whole performance was on the best and honestly I was sat there hoping that he gets a good knockout win and it'll boost the fight and also that'll boost the numbers we still have to look at this fight as a business or a business and if it makes big money the money it would have made I think it would have been better for him to sit on the sit, sit start just stayed sat on the bench and not fought than taking that last fight and the performance he had in it because I think it's done him it's not got him the fight that's the last question, guys. Yes. All right, guys, man. Peace out, my love.